Sometimes you want to make a tapered leg for a table. It's got tapers on two sides or even on four sides, whichever way you want to do it. You may want exactness, and that's what this jig um, that I've developed here does. This jig has a tapered platform inside here, and on that you slide a plane like this. So your plane rides on the outside carriage, and you take your shavings down to thickness like this. So this piece of wood is already tapered. Place this into the jig, rough sawn, and then you start taking shavings along this until you reach bottom and it takes no more shavings and you end up with a perfectly tapered leg. Flip it over, do the second face and you end up with a tapered leg that's equal on width with the taper from top to bottom on both sides. And that's what I want to show you now. So what I've done here, I've made the jig very simply. It comprises of three screws in each side Two screws in the end here, you can see here. So I've got two screws holding this stop. This is purely to stop the wood from uh, sliding from under the plane. So it's back those out. And, oops, not quite enough. So this should come off. I've not glued this, it's not really necessary. If you want to glue it, you can, but it's really not necessary. There's one piece. Here's the stop. I used oak for the stop, but you could use pine. Pine would hold up just fine. And then inside here, I've just put one screw on the tapered pieces, so I'll show you that. I've just used one screw to center it, uh, to make sure it doesn't slide or move. And that's enough, it, it's not going to be under any kind of pressure. So this one here. So the only thing we've got to do now is, um, is taper the uh, support. And that again is simple enough. What I did, I just took a piece of wood like this and I've made a mark seven eighths of an inch. That's the finished size at the bottom here, seven eighths and an inch and a half at the top. And then I just took a similar, a piece of wood that would accommodate both pieces. So my tapered cut on one will help with the other. So I get two pieces from one piece of wood. I'm going to slide the saw down here, get lined up, cut it away from the line. Just enough to be able to plane it. It's going off track, so just correct it. Flip over and come from the other end. Down between the lines. And up to here. Put the two together in the vise. Push the underside and make sure, obviously, you're working straight with your wood. And then make your taper perfected with the hand plane. Take out the highs and lows. Check your line.
little bit more. And then you have your two pieces. Those are the carriage that the plane will ride on to taper the legs exactly. Now let me show you what I would do when I'm putting this together. Take your two side pieces, place them in readiness. These, I just simply put these two together in the vise and then I took my electric drill, drilled through both sides with a one and three, no, with a 3 16th drill here, drill through both, bump, bump, and bump, and then countersink if you want to. With pine, you don't really need to. It will be up to you. Here's my carriage. What I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure that the, the face of the carriage that I was using had no twist in it, because otherwise the wood will, will um, twist and turn in the cut as you start to plane your tapered leg. So you've got to be careful to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So I think this one went here. So screw the, the side on like this. As I say, you can glue it if you want to. It's really not necessary though. I've got everything pre-drilled because this has already been assembled once. So I've got the uh, carriage, the width of the plane, just add about one eighth of an inch. So whatever plane you're going to use, like this one, I'm using a number four and a half here. So it, it takes this one, but it also will take usually one of these big wooden ones. And actually the span is enough. When I put the side pieces in here, the span is enough to take even the narrower number four sits on here just fine. So you don't have an issue when you come to whichever plane you choose to use, you can use it. End stop goes on here. And I've left this a little bit lower than the thickness of my, uh, the end of my leg. I'll show you that in a second. Well, this is the finish on my taper here. Can you see I left this lower here just by one eighth of an inch. So this butts up against it and I'm not going to catch this with my plane. And then these pieces here go on here. Again, just one quick screw in the middle there like that. And another one on this side. And you have a tapered jig. And of course you can always use this carriage, this main carriage without these. You can always add different, um, different shapes, different tapers here to, to accommodate any size of leg. Now when you put this in the vise, put your leg in here, then you will see how effective this is for thicknessing and taking off the shaving you need for your tapered leg. So as soon as it, I, listen, it'll hit bottom there, it just hit bottom, no more shaving, that means I'm dead to size, I'm dead square, this face is exactly the same distance from this face as this one is from this face. They will be, I'm pretty sure, let's take a look. What we've got here is 2303 or four somewhere on there. And then I go to this one, 
about the same distance in 22.74. So it's very close. That's close enough for anybody, for anybody in woodworking. And that's my tapered leg. So that's how you make that carriage. It works perfectly, it's very effective, and it will be as accurate as you would get from a tapered jig on any machine, pretty much. So I think you'll enjoy that. Makes it very simple, very doable, and you can do it on a workbench in an area like this.